Good morning. It's um, Wednesday, 21st of April, and we are just setting off to collect uh, the bees from um, Ockenhampton in Devon. Uh, I'm just we just came to check if everything is still okay and set for them. So behind me is the new hive, and I'm just checking if is set properly although we did that the other day uh, Nigel had to put the gu my mouse guard on it and just checking if everything is still as it should be um, <coughs> before we arrive with the bees and try to transfer them straight away obviously I can't say how excited we are but also a little bit nervous the weather is lovely um, couldn't sleep very well so I'm a bit tired and no doubt Nigel is. So um, I'm just going to check and inspect the hive. So the bees have a lovely location. It's under the old willow tree, so provides some double shade, but it's facing east so they will get the sun first thing in the morning the brook is just behind that fence but I will provide some water close to the hive as well and we've made a dead wood hedge behind it that's going to be built up later on some more of it and um, yes it's looking I think uh, with some wildflowers coming up which I saw, this is going to be really nice for them. What are you looking forward to, Nigel, the most? Getting home. That's so true. Collecting our bees, darling. <laughs> Me too. In Ockyhampton. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Oakhampton. We have arrived at the National Bee Supplies. Well, what can I say? Nigel missed the crucial moment of me coming out with the bees. Um, and here we are, arrived at the allotment with the nuke of the bees. And I'm installing them just to let them do the wreck flies. So Nigel managed to tell me that he thinks that absolutely none of the pictures of me installing the bees have been successful but I different kind of almost refuse to believe that and um, I'm gonna check the footage at home however here they are very very happily sort of buzzing around don't know if I can and during the whole thing only one really did try to have a little bit go at me on my face but obviously I was very well protected but other than that they were the most calm and bewildered bees are <laughs> as good as I was hoping and you know expecting them to be so now they're just buzzing around and I'll try to put some of it together. So this is the only footage that we managed to save, uh, which was actually watchable from what Nigel has taken. And I'm just moving the frames here from the nuke on the left into the main um, hive. Uh, and as you can see, the bees are congregating to, on the side of the hive and flying freely around um, and I'm just moving slowly and actually trying to spot the queen I have spotted her she was there so that's all good 
shame because there was some really really interesting stuff however uh, I've managed to install the bees and uh, feed them uh, with some bee feeding solution in the super above the brood uh, chamber um, and I installed the frames um, vertically towards the entrance rather than horizontally. I just need to check if this is suitable for this time of the year. If not, I will just need to uh, move the brood box by 90 degrees, but that's next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.